Baltimore, Baltimore is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Maryland, as well as the 30th most populous city in the United States, with a population of 602,495 in 2018 and also the largest such independent city in the country. Baltimore was established by the Constitution of Maryland as an independent city in 1729. As of 2017, the population of the Baltimore metropolitan area was estimated to be just under 2.802 million, making it the 21st largest metropolitan area in the country. Baltimore is located about 40 miles 64 kilometers northeast of Washington, D.C., making it a principal city in the Washington-Baltimore Combined Statistical Area CSA, the fourth largest CSA in the nation, with a calculated 2018 population of 9,797,063. Baltimore is also the second largest seaport in the Mid-Atlantic. The city's inner harbor was once the second leading port of entry for immigrants to the United States. In addition, Baltimore was a major manufacturing center. After a decline in major manufacturing, heavy industry, and restructuring of the rail industry, Baltimore has shifted to a service-oriented economy. Johns Hopkins Hospital founded 1889, and Johns Hopkins University founded 1876 are the city's top two employers, with hundreds of identified districts. Baltimore has been dubbed a city of neighborhoods. Famous residents have included writers Edgar Allan Poe, Edith Hamilton, Frederick Douglass, W. E. B. Du Bois, Ogden Nash, Gertrude Stein, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Dashiell Hammett, Upton Sinclair, Tom Clancy, Tani Hissey Coates, and H. L. Mencken, musicians James. Ubi. Blake, Billy Holiday, Cab Calloway, Tori Amos, Frank Zappa, Tupac Shakur, Robbie Basho, Bill Frizzle, Philip Glass, and Rick Okasek, actors and filmmakers John Waters, Barry Levinson, Divine, David Hasselhoff, Don Messick, John Cassier, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Monique, artist Jeff Koons, baseball player Babe Ruth, swimmer Michael Phelps, radio host Ira Glass, Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, Speaker of the United States House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi, and United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson. During the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key wrote, The Star Spangled Banner, in Baltimore after the bombardment of Fort McHenry. His poem was set to music and popularized as a song. In 1931, it was designated as the American National Anthem. Baltimore has more public statues and monuments per capita than any other city in the country, and is home to some of the earliest National Register historic districts in the nation, including Fells Point, Federal Hill, and Mount Vernon. These were added to the National Register between 1969 and 1971, soon after historic preservation legislation was passed. Nearly one-third of the city's buildings over are designated as historic in the National Register, which is more than any other U.S. city. According to FBI data from 2017, Baltimore had a per capita murder rate of 55.8 per 100,000 population. History The city has 66 National Register Historic Districts and 33 Local Historic Districts. Over 65,000 properties are designated as historic buildings and listed in the NRHP, more than any other U.S. city. The historical records of the Government of Baltimore are located at the Baltimore City Archives. Topic. Etymology The city is named after Cecil Calvert, 2nd Lord Baltimore of the Irish House of Lords and founding proprietor of the province of Maryland. Baltimore Manor was the name of the estate in County Longford on which the Calvert family lived in Ireland. Baltimore is an anglicization of the Irish name Bale and Timor, meaning, town of the big house. Topic. Before European settlement The Baltimore area had been inhabited by Native Americans since at least the 10th millennium BC, when Paleo-Indians first settled in the region. One Paleo-Indian site and several archaic period and woodland period archaeological sites have been identified in Baltimore, including four from the late woodland period. During the late woodland period, the archaeological culture that is called the Potomac Creek Complex resided in the area from Baltimore south to the Rappahannock River in present-day Virginia. In the early 1600s, the immediate Baltimore vicinity was sparsely populated, if at all, by Native Americans. The Baltimore County area northward was used as hunting grounds by the Susquehannock living in the lower Susquehanna River Valley. This Iroquoian-speaking people controlled all of the upper tributaries of the Chesapeake. But 
refrain from much contact with Powhatan in the Potomac region and south into Virginia. Pressured by the Susquehannock, the Piscataway tribe, and Algonquin-speaking people, stayed well south of the Baltimore area and inhabited primarily the north bank of the Potomac River in what are now Charles and Southern Prince George's counties in the coastal areas south of the Fall Line. Topic. Colonial period European colonization of Maryland began with the arrival of an English ship at St. Clement's Island in the Potomac River on March 25, 1634. Europeans began to settle the area further north, beginning to populate the area of Baltimore County. The original county seat, known today as Old Baltimore, was located on Bush River within the present-day Aberdeen Proving Ground. The colonists engaged in sporadic warfare with the Susquehanna, whose numbers dwindled primarily from new infectious diseases, such as smallpox, endemic among the Europeans. In 1661, David Jones claimed the area known today as Jonestown on the east bank of the Jones Falls stream. The Colonial General Assembly of Maryland created the Port of Baltimore at Old Whetstone Point, now Locust Point in 1706 for the tobacco trade. The town of Baltimore, on the west side of the Jones Falls, was founded and laid out on July 30, 1729. By 1752 the town had just 27 homes, including a church and two taverns. Jonestown and Fells Point had been settled to the east. The three settlements, covering 60 acres 24 hectares, became a commercial hub, and in 1768 were designated as the county seat. Being a colony, the Baltimore Street names were laid out to demonstrate loyalty to the mother country. For example, King George, King, Queen, and Caroline Streets. Baltimore grew swiftly in the 18th century, its plantations producing grain and tobacco for sugar-producing colonies in the Caribbean. The profit from sugar encouraged the cultivation of cane in the Caribbean and the importation of food by planters there. As noted, Baltimore was as the county seat, and in 1768 a courthouse was built to serve both the city and county. Its square was a center of community meetings and discussions. Baltimore established its public market system in 1763. Lexington Market, founded in 1782, is known as one of the oldest continuously operating public markets in the United States today. Lexington Market was also a center of slave trading. Slaves were sold at numerous sites through the downtown area, with sales advertised in the Baltimore Sun. Both tobacco and sugar cane were labor-intensive crops. Baltimore in 1774 established the first post office system in what became the United States, and the first water company chartered in the newly independent nation Baltimore Water Company, 1792. Baltimore played a key part in events leading to and including the American Revolution. City leaders such as Jonathan Plowman Jr. led many residents in joining the resistance to British taxes, and merchants signed agreements to refuse to trade with Britain. The Second Continental Congress met in the Henry Fight House from December 1776 to February 1777, effectively making the city the capital of the United States during this period. Topic Antebellum period The town of Baltimore, Jonestown, and Fells Point were incorporated as the city of Baltimore in 1796–1797. The city remained a part of surrounding Baltimore County and continued to serve as its county seat from 1768 to 1851, after which it became an independent city. The Battle of Baltimore against the British in 1814 inspired the composition of the USA's national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, and the construction of the Battle Monument which became the city's official emblem. A distinctive local culture started to take shape, and a unique skyline peppered with churches and monuments developed. Baltimore acquired its moniker, the Monumental City, after an 1827 visit to Baltimore by President John Quincy Adams. At an evening function Adams gave the following toast, Baltimore, the monumental city, may the days of her safety be as prosperous and happy, as the days of her dangers have been trying and triumphant. Baltimore pioneered the use of gas lighting in 1816, and its population grew rapidly in the following decades, with concomitant development of culture and infrastructure. The construction of the federally funded National Road which later became part of U.S. Route 40 and the private Baltimore and Ohio Railroad B. and O. made Baltimore a major shipping and manufacturing center by linking the city with major markets in the Midwest. By 1820 its population had reached 60,000, and its economy had shifted from its base in tobacco plantations to sawmilling, shipbuilding, and textile production. These industries benefited from war but successfully shifted into infrastructure development during peacetime. Baltimore suffered one of the worst riots of the antebellum South in 1835, when bad investments led to the Baltimore Bank Riot. 
Soon after the city created the world's first dental college, the Baltimore College of Dental Surgery, in 1840, and shared in the world's first telegraph line, between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. in 1844. Topic Civil War and after Maryland, a slave state with abundant popular support for secession in some areas, remained part of the Union during the American Civil War, due in part to the Union's strategic occupation of the city in 1861. Another factor was the fact that the Union's capital, Washington, was in the state of Maryland, geographically if not politically, and well situated to impede Baltimore and Maryland's communication or commerce with the Confederacy. Baltimore saw the first casualties of the war on April 19, 1861, when Union soldiers en route from the President Street Station to Camden Yards clashed with a secessionist mob in the Pratt Street riot. In the midst of the Long Depression which followed the Panic of 1873, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company attempted to lower its workers' wages, leading to strikes and riots in the city and beyond. Strikers clashed with the National Guard, leaving 10 dead and 25 wounded. Topic. 20th century through 1968 On February 7, 1904, the Great Baltimore Fire destroyed over 1,500 buildings in 30 hours, leaving more than 70 blocks of the downtown area burned to the ground. Damages were estimated at $150 million in $1,904. As the city rebuilt during the next two years, lessons learned from the fire led to improvements in firefighting equipment standards. Baltimore lawyer Milton Dashiell advocated for an ordinance to bar African Americans from moving into the Utah Place neighborhood in northwest Baltimore. He proposed to recognize majority white residential blocks and majority black residential blocks, and to prevent people from moving into housing on such blocks where they would be a minority. The Baltimore Council passed the ordinance, and it became law on December 20, 1910, with Democratic Mayor J. Barry Mahul's signature. The Baltimore Segregation Ordinance was the first of its kind in the United States. Many other southern cities followed with their own segregation ordinances, though the U.S. Supreme Court ruled against them in Buchanan v. Worley, 1917. The city grew in area by annexing new suburbs from the surrounding counties through 1918, when the city acquired portions of Baltimore County and Anne Arundel County. A state constitutional amendment, approved in 1948, required a special vote of the citizens in any proposed annexation area, effectively preventing any future expansion of the city's boundaries. Streetcars enabled the development of distant neighborhoods areas such as Edmondson Village whose residents could easily commute to work downtown. Driven by migration from the Deep South and by white suburbanization, the relative size of the city's black population grew from 23.8% in 1950 to 46.4% in 1970. Encouraged by real estate blockbusting techniques, recently settled white areas rapidly became all-black neighborhoods, in a rapid process which was nearly total by 1970. Topic. 1968 and after The Baltimore Riot of 1968, coinciding with riots in other cities, followed the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. on April 4, 1968. Public order was not restored until April 12, 1968. The Baltimore riot cost the city an estimated $10 million, $72 million in 2019. A total of 11,000 Maryland National Guard and federal troops were ordered into the city. The city experienced challenges again in 1974 when teachers, municipal workers, and police officers conducted strikes. Following the death of Freddie Gray in April 2015, the city experienced major protests and international media attention, as well as a clash between local youth and police, which resulted in a state of emergency declaration and curfew. Baltimore has suffered from a high homicide rate for several decades, peaking in 1993, and again in 2015. These deaths have taken a severe toll, especially within the local black community. Topic development and promotion By the beginning of the 1970s, Baltimore's downtown area known as the Inner Harbor had been neglected and was occupied by a collection of abandoned warehouses. The nickname, Charm City, came from a 1975 meeting of advertisers seeking to improve the city's reputation. Efforts to redevelop the area started with the construction of the Maryland Science Center, which opened in 1976, the Baltimore World Trade Center 1977, and the Baltimore Convention Center 1979. 
Harbour Place, an urban retail and restaurant complex, opened on the waterfront in 1980, followed by the National Aquarium, Maryland's largest tourist destination, and the Baltimore Museum of Industry in 1981. In 1995, the city opened the American Visionary Art Museum on Federal Hill. During the epidemic of HIV, AIDS in the United States, Baltimore City Health Department official Robert Mel persuaded the city's mayor to form a committee to address food problems. The Baltimore based charity Movable Feast grew out of this initiative in 1990. By 2010, the organization's region of service had expanded from merely Baltimore to include all of the eastern shore of Maryland. In 1992, the Baltimore Orioles baseball team moved from Memorial Stadium to Oriole Park at Camden Yards, located downtown near the harbor. Pope John Paul II held an open-air mass at Camden Yards during his papal visit to the United States in October 1995. Three years later the Baltimore Ravens football team moved into M&T Bank Stadium next to Camden Yards. Baltimore has seen the reopening of the Hippodrome Theater in 2004, the opening of the Reginald F. Lewis Museum of Maryland African American History and Culture in 2005, and the establishment of the National Slavic Museum in 2012. On April 12, 2012, Johns Hopkins held a dedication ceremony to mark the completion of one of the United States' largest medical complexes, the Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, which features the Sheikh Zayed Cardiovascular and Critical Care Tower and the Charlotte R. Bloomberg Children's Center. The event, held at the entrance to the $1.1 billion 1.6 million square foot facility, honored the many donors including Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayyan, first president of the United Arab Emirates, and Michael Bloomberg. On September 19, 2016, the Baltimore City Council approved a $660 million bond deal for the $5.5 billion Port Covington redevelopment project championed by Under Armour founder Kevin Plank and his real estate company Sagamore Development. Port Covington surpassed the Harbor Point development as the largest tax increment financing deal in Baltimore's history and among the largest urban redevelopment projects in the country. The waterfront development that includes the new headquarters for Under Armour, as well as shops, housing, offices, and manufacturing spaces is projected to create 26,500 permanent jobs with a $4.3 billion annual economic impact. Goldman Sachs invested $233 million into the redevelopment project. Topic. Geography Baltimore is in north-central Maryland on the Patapsco River close to where it empties into the Chesapeake Bay. The city is also located on the fall line between the Piedmont Plateau and the Atlantic Coastal Plain, which divides Baltimore into Lower City and Upper City. The city's elevation ranges from sea level at the harbor to 480 feet 150 meters in the northwest corner near Pimlico. According to the 2010 census, the city has a total area of 92.1 square miles, 239 square kilometers, of which 80.9 square miles, 210 square kilometers is land and 11.1 square miles, 29 square kilometers is water. The total area is 12.1% water. Baltimore is almost completely surrounded by Baltimore County, but is politically independent of it. It is bordered by Anne Arundel County to the south. Topic. Cityscape Topic. Architecture Baltimore exhibits examples from each period of architecture over more than two centuries, and work from architects such as Benjamin Latrobe, George A. Frederick, John Russell Pope, Mies van der Rohe and I. M. Pei. The city is rich in architecturally significant buildings in a variety of styles. The Baltimore Basilica is a neoclassical design by Benjamin Latrobe, and also the oldest Catholic cathedral in the United States. In 1813 Robert Carey Long Sr., built for Rembrandt Peel the first substantial structure in the United States designed expressly as a museum. Restored, it is now the Municipal Museum of Baltimore, or popularly the Peel Museum. The McKim Free School was founded and endowed by John McKim, although the building was erected by his son Isaac in 1822 after a design by William Howard and William Small. It reflects the popular interest in Greece when the nation was securing its independence, as well as a scholarly interest in recently published drawings of Athenian antiquities. 
The Phoenix Shot Tower 1828, at 234.25 feet 71.40 meters tall, was the tallest building in the United States until the time of the Civil War, and is one of few remaining structures of its kind. It was constructed without the use of exterior scaffolding. The Sun Iron Building, designed by R.C. Hatfield in 1851, was the city's first iron front building and was a model for a whole generation of downtown buildings. Brown Memorial Presbyterian Church, built in 1870 in memory of financier George Brown, has stained glass windows by Louis Comfort Tiffany and has been called, one of the most significant buildings in this city, a treasure of art and architecture. By Baltimore Magazine, the 1845 Greek Revival-style Lloyd Street Synagogue is one of the oldest synagogues in the United States. The Johns Hopkins Hospital, designed by Lt. Cole John S. Billings in 1876, was a considerable achievement for its day in functional arrangement and fireproofing. I. M. Pays World Trade Center 1977, is the tallest equilateral pentagonal building in the world at 405 feet 123 meters, tall. The Harbor East area has seen the addition of two new towers which have completed construction, a 24-floor tower that is the new world headquarters of Lake Mason, and a 21-floor Four Seasons Hotel complex. The streets of Baltimore are organized in a grid pattern, lined with tens of thousands of brick and formston faced row houses. In the Baltimore Row House, Mary Ellen Hayward and Charles Belfort considered the row house as the architectural form defining Baltimore as perhaps no other American city. In the mid-1790s, developers began building entire neighborhoods of the British-style rowhouses, which became the dominant house type of the city early in the 19th century. Formston facings, now a common feature on Baltimore rowhouses, were an addition patented in 1937 by Albert Knight. John Waters characterized Formston as the polyester of brick. In a 30-minute documentary film, Little Castles, a Formston phenomenon, Oriole Park at Camden Yards is a major league baseball park, opened in 1992, which was built as a retro-style baseball park. Camden Yards, along with the National Aquarium, have helped revive the inner harbor from what once was an industrial district full of dilapidated warehouses into a bustling commercial district full of bars, restaurants and retail establishments. Today, the Inner Harbor has some of the most desirable real estate in the Mid-Atlantic. After an international competition, the University of Baltimore School of Law awarded the German firm Benish Architect and first prize for its design, which was selected for the school's new home. After the building's opening in 2013, the design won additional honors including an ENR National Best of the Best Award. Baltimore's newly rehabilitated Everyman Theater was honored by the Baltimore Heritage at the 2013 Preservation Awards celebration in 2013. Everyman Theater will receive an adaptive reuse and compatible design award as part of Baltimore Heritage's 2013 Historic Preservation Awards ceremony. Baltimore Heritage is Baltimore's non-profit historic and architectural preservation organization, which works to preserve and promote Baltimore's historic buildings and neighborhoods. Topic. Tallest buildings Topic. Neighborhoods Baltimore is officially divided into nine geographical regions, north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, and central, with each district patrolled by a respective Baltimore Police Department. Interstate 83 and Charles Street down to Hanover Street and Ritchie Highway serve as the east-west dividing line and Eastern Avenue to Route 40 as the north-south dividing line. However, Baltimore Street is north-south dividing line for the U.S. Postal Service. It is not uncommon for locals to divide the city simply by East or West Baltimore, using Charles Street or First 83 as a dividing line or into North and South using Baltimore Street as a dividing line. Topic Central Baltimore Central Baltimore, originally called the Middle District, stretches north of the Inner Harbor up to the edge of Druid Hill Park. Downtown Baltimore has mainly served as a commercial district with limited residential opportunities. However, between 2000 and 2010, the downtown population grew 130% as old commercial properties have been replaced by residential property. 
Still the city's main commercial area and business district, it includes Baltimore's sports complexes, Oriole Park at Camden Yards, M&T Bank Stadium, and the Royal Farms Arena, and the shops and attractions in the Inner Harbor, Harbor Place, the Baltimore Convention Center, the National Aquarium, Maryland Science Center, Pier 6 Pavilion, and Power Plant Live, the University of Maryland, Baltimore, the University of Maryland Medical Center, and Lexington Market are also in the Central District, as well as the Hippodrome and many nightclubs, bars, restaurants, shopping centers and various other attractions. The northern portion of central Baltimore, between downtown and the Druid Hill Park, is home to many of the city's cultural opportunities. Maryland Institute College of Art, the Peabody Institute, Music Conservatory, George Peabody Library, Enoch Pratt Free Library, Central Library, the Lyric Opera House, the Joseph Mayerhoff Symphony Hall, the Walters Art Museum, the Maryland Historical Society and its Enoch Pratt Mansion, and several galleries are located in this region. Topic. North Baltimore North Baltimore lies directly north of central Baltimore and is bounded on the east by the Alameda and on the west by Pimlico Road. Loyola University Maryland, Johns Hopkins University Homewood Campus, St. Mary's Seminary and University and Notre Dame of Maryland University are located in this district. Baltimore Polytechnic Institute High School for Mathematics, Science and Engineering, and adjacent Western High School, the oldest remaining public girls' secondary school in America, share a joint campus at West Cold Spring Lane and Falls Road. Several historic and notable neighborhoods are in this district: Govins, 1755; Roland Park, 1891; Guilford, 1913; Homeland, 1924; Hampton, Woodbury, Old Goucher, the original campus of Goucher College, and Jones Falls. Along the York Road corridor going north are the large neighborhoods of Charles Village, Waverley, and Mount Washington. The Station North Arts and Entertainment District is also located in North Baltimore. Topic South Baltimore South Baltimore, a mixed industrial and residential area, consists of the Old South Baltimore, peninsula below the Inner Harbor and east of the old B&O Railroad's Camden Line tracks and Russell Street downtown. It is a culturally, ethnically, and socio-economically diverse waterfront area with neighborhoods such as Locust Point and Riverside around a large park of the same name. Just south of the Inner Harbor, the historic Federal Hill neighborhood, is home to many working professionals, pubs and restaurants. At the end of the peninsula is historic Fort McHenry, a national park since the end of World War I, when the old U.S. Army hospital surrounding the 1798 star-shaped battlements was torn down. The area south of the Vietnam Veterans, Hanover Street, Bridge and the Patapsco River was annexed to the city in 1919 from being independent towns in Anne Arundel County. Across the Hanover Street Bridge are residential areas such as Cherry Hill, Brooklyn, and Curtis Bay, with Fort Armistead bordering the city's south side from Anne Arundel County. Topic. Northeast Baltimore Northeast is primarily a residential neighborhood, home to Morgan State University, bounded by the city line of 1919 on its northern and eastern boundaries, Sinclair Lane, Erdman Avenue, and Pulaski Highway to the south and the Alameda on to the west. Also in this wedge of the city on 33rd Street is Baltimore City College High School, third oldest active public secondary school in the United States, founded downtown in 1839. Across Lock Raven Boulevard is the former site of the old Memorial Stadium home of the Baltimore Colts, Baltimore Orioles, and Baltimore Ravens, now replaced by a YMCA athletic and housing complex. Lake Montebello is in northeast Baltimore. Topic. East Baltimore Located below Sinclair Lane and Erdman Avenue, above Orleans Street, East Baltimore is mainly made up of residential neighborhoods. This section of East Baltimore is home to Johns Hopkins Hospital and Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine on Broadway. Notable neighborhoods include, Armistead Gardens, Broadway East, Barclay, Elwood Park, Green Mount, and McKeldery Park. This area was the on-site film location for Homicide, Life on the Street, The Corner and The Wire. Topic. Southeast Baltimore Southeast Baltimore, located below Fayette Street, bordering the Inner Harbor and the northwest branch of the Patapsco River to the west, the city line of 1919 on its eastern boundaries and the Patapsco River to the south, is a mixed industrial and residential area. Patterson Park, the best backyard in Baltimore, 
as well as the Highland Town Arts District, and Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center are located in southeast Baltimore. The shops at Canton Crossing opened in 2013. The Canton neighborhood, is located along Baltimore's prime waterfront. Other historic neighborhoods include, Fells Point, Patterson Park, Butchers Hill, Highland Town, Greek Town, Harbor East, Little Italy, and Upper Fells Point. Northwest Baltimore Northwestern is bounded by the county line to the north and west, Gwynns Falls Parkway on the south and Pimlico Road on the east, is home to Pimlico Race Course, Sinai Hospital, and the headquarters of the NAACP. Its neighborhoods are mostly residential and are dissected by Northern Parkway. The area has been the center of Baltimore's Jewish community since after World War II. Notable neighborhoods include Pimlico, Mount Washington, and Cheswold, and Park Heights. Topic. West Baltimore West Baltimore is west of downtown and the Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and is bounded by Gwynns Falls Parkway, Fremont Avenue, and West Baltimore Street. The Old West Baltimore Historic District includes the neighborhoods of Harlem Park, Sandtown Winchester, Druid Heights, Madison Park, and Upton. Originally a predominantly German neighborhood, by the last half of the 1800s, Old West Baltimore was home to a substantial section of the city's African-American population. It became the largest neighborhood for the city's black community and its cultural, political, and economic center. Coppin State University, Mondorman Mall, and Edmondson Village are located in this district. The area's crime problems have provided subject material for television series, such as The Wire. Local organizations, such as the Sandtown Habitat for Humanity and the Upton Planning Committee, have been steadily transforming parts of formerly blighted areas of West Baltimore into clean, safe communities. Topic. Southwest Baltimore Southwest Baltimore is bound by the Baltimore County Line to the west, West Baltimore Street to the north, and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Russell Street, Baltimore Washington Parkway, Maryland Route 295, to the east. Notable neighborhoods in southwest Baltimore include, Pigtown, Carrollton Ridge, Ridgely's Delight, Leakin Park, Violetville, Lakeland, and Morrill Park. St. Agnes Hospital on Wilkins and Caden Avenues is located in this district with the neighboring Cardinal Gibbons High School, which is the former site of Babe Ruth's alma mater, St. Mary's Industrial School. Also through this segment of Baltimore ran the beginnings of the historic National Road, which was constructed beginning in 1806 along Old Frederick Road and continuing into the county on Frederick Road into Ellicott City, Maryland. Other sides in this district are, Carroll Park, one of the city's largest parks, the Colonial Mount Clare Mansion, and Washington Boulevard, which dates to pre-Revolutionary War days as the prime route out of the city to Alexandria, Virginia, and Georgetown on the Potomac River. Topic. Adjacent communities The city of Baltimore is bordered by the following communities, all unincorporated census-designated places. Topic. Climate The city has a humid subtropical climate zone, Koppen, CFA. Its true Arthur climate classification is defined as an oceanic climate, duh, like the other major cities in the region, NYC, Philadelphia, with blizzards but without having a continental climate by technical definition. Baltimore is part of USDA plant hardiness zones 7B and 8A. Winters are chilly to mild but variable, with sporadic snowfall. January has a daily average of 35.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 2.1 degrees Celsius, though temperatures reach 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, rather often and drop below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 7 degrees Celsius. When Arctic air masses affect the area, the average seasonal snowfall is 20.1 inches, 51 centimeters, but it varies greatly depending on the winter, with some seasons seeing minimal snow while others see several major noisters. Due to lessened urban heat island Uhi, as compared to the city proper and distance from the moderating Chesapeake Bay, the outlying and inland parts of the Baltimore metro area are usually cooler, especially at night, than the city proper and the coastal towns. Thus, in the northern and western suburbs, winter snowfall is more significant, and some areas average more than 30 in 76 centimeters of snow per winter. It is by no means uncommon for the rain-snow line to set up in the metro area. 
Freezing rain and sleet occurs a few times each winter in the area, as warm air overrides cold air at the low to mid levels of the atmosphere. When the wind blows from the east, the cold air gets damped against the mountains to the west and the result is freezing rain or sleet. Spring and autumn are warm, with spring being the wettest season in terms of the number of precipitation days. Summers are hot and humid with a daily average in July of 80.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 27.1 degrees Celsius, and the combination of heat and humidity leads to rather frequent thunderstorms. A southeasterly bay breeze off the Chesapeake often occurs on summer afternoons when hot air rises over inland areas, prevailing winds from the southwest interacting with this breeze as well as the city proper's who he can seriously exacerbate air quality. In late summer and early autumn the track of hurricanes or their remnants may cause flooding in downtown Baltimore, despite the city being far removed from the typical coastal storm surge areas. Extreme temperatures range from minus 7 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 22 degrees Celsius on February 9, 1934, and February 10, 1899, up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit, 42 degrees Celsius on July 22, 2011. On average, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius plus temperatures occur on 0.9 days annually, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius plus on 37 days, and there are 10 days where the high fails to reach the freezing mark. Topic. Demographics Topic. Population According to the 2010 census, there were 620,961 people living in Baltimore City in 242,268 households. The population decreased by 4.6% since the 2000 census. Among school-age children between 5 to 17 years old, there was a 23% decline. Baltimore's population has declined at each census since its peak in 1950. In 2011, then Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake said her main goal was to increase the city's population by improving city services to reduce the number of people leaving the city and by passing legislation protecting immigrants' rights to stimulate growth. For the first time in decades, in July 2012, the U.S. Census Bureau's census estimate showed the population grew by 1,100 residents, a 0.2% increase from the previous year. Baltimore is sometimes identified as a sanctuary city. Mayor Jack Young said in 2019 that Baltimore will not assist ICE agents with immigration raids. Gentrification has increased since the 2000 census, primarily in East Baltimore, Downtown, and Central Baltimore. Downtown Baltimore and its surrounding neighborhoods are seeing a resurgence of young professionals and immigrants, mirroring major cities across the country. After New York City, Baltimore was the second city in the United States to reach a population of 100,000. From the 1830 through 1850 U.S. censuses, Baltimore was the second most populous city, before being surpassed by Philadelphia in 1860. It was among the top ten cities in population in the United States in every census up to the 1980 census, and after World War II had a population of nearly one million. Topic. Characteristics According to the 2010 census, Baltimore's population is 63.7% black, 29.6% white, 2.3% Asian, and 0.4% American Indian and Alaska Native. Across races, 4.2% of the population are of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. Females made up 53.4% of the population. The median age was 35 years old, with 22.4% under 18 years old, 65.8% from 18 to 64 years old, and 11.8% 65 or older. In 2005, approximately 30,778 people identified as gay, lesbian, or bisexual. In 2012, same sex marriage in Maryland was legalized, going into effect January 1, 2013. Topic. Income and housing In 2009, the median household income was $42,241 and the median income per capita was $25,707, compared to the national median income of $53,889 per household and $28,930 per capita. 
In Baltimore, 23.7% of the population live below the poverty line, compared to 13.5% nationwide. Housing in Baltimore is relatively inexpensive for large coastal cities of its size. The median sale price for homes in Baltimore in 2012 was $95,000. Despite the housing collapse, and along with the national trends, Baltimore residents still face slowly increasing rent up 3% in the summer of 2010. The homeless population in Baltimore is steadily increasing. It exceeded 4,000 people in 2011. The increase in the number of young homeless people was particularly severe. Topic. Life expectancy As of 2015, life expectancy in Baltimore was 74 to 75 years, compared to the U.S. average of 78 to 80. Fourteen neighborhoods had lower life expectancies than North Korea. The life expectancy in downtown, Seton Hill was comparable to that of Yemen. <inaudible> Religion A little under half of people in Baltimore report affiliating with a religion. Catholicism is the largest religious affiliation, comprising 12% of the population, followed by the Baptist Church 7%, then Judaism 4.3%, around 11.4% identify with other Christian denominations. Topic: <laughs> Languages. <laughs> As of 2010, 91% of Baltimore residents five years old and older spoke only English at home. Close to 4% spoke Spanish. Other languages, such as African languages, French, and Chinese are spoken by less than 1% of the population. Crime. Crime in Baltimore, generally concentrated in areas high in poverty, has been far above the national average for many years. Overall reported crime has dropped by 60% from the mid-1990s to the mid-2010s, but homicide rates remain high and exceed the national average. The worst years for crime in Baltimore overall were from 1993 to 1996, with 96,243 crimes reported in 1995. Baltimore's 344 homicides in 2015 represented the highest homicide rate in the city's recorded history—52.5 per 100,000 people, surpassing the record set in 1993—and the second highest for U.S. cities behind St. Louis and ahead of Detroit. To put that in perspective, New York City, a city with a 2015 population of 8,491,079, recorded a total of 339 homicides in 2015. Baltimore had a 2015 population of 621,849, which means that in 2015 Baltimore had a homicide rate 14 times higher than New York City's. Of Baltimore's 344 homicides in 2015, 321 .3 of the victims were African American. Chicago, which saw 762 homicides in 2016 compared to Baltimore's 318, still had a homicide rate 27.2. That was half of Baltimore's because Chicago has a population four times greater than Baltimore's. As of 2018, the murder rate in Baltimore was higher than that of El Salvador, Guatemala, or Honduras. Drug use and deaths by drug use, particularly drugs used intravenously, such as heroin, are a related problem which has crippled Baltimore for decades. Among cities greater than 400,000, Baltimore ranked second in its opiate drug death rate in the United States behind Dayton, Ohio. The D reported that 10% of Baltimore's population, about 64,000 people, are addicted to heroin. In 2011, Baltimore police reported 196 homicides, the lowest number in the city since a count of 197 homicides in 1978 and far lower than the peak homicide count of 353 slayings in 1993. City leaders at the time credited a sustained focus on repeat violent offenders and increased community engagement for the continued drop, reflecting a nationwide decline in crime. On August 8, 2014, Baltimore's new youth curfew law went into effect. It prohibits unaccompanied children under age 14 from being on the streets after 9 p.m. and those aged 14 to 16 from being out after 10 p.m. during the week and 11 p.m. on weekends and during the summer. 
The goal is to keep children out of dangerous places and reduce crime. Crime in Baltimore reached another peak in 2015 when the year's tally of 344 homicides was second only to the record 353 in 1993, when Baltimore had about 100,000 more residents. The killings in 2015 were on pace with recent years in the early months of 2015 but skyrocketed after the unrest and rioting of late April. In five of the next eight months, killings topped 30 to 40 per month. Nearly 90% of 2015's homicides were the result of shootings, renewing calls for new gun laws. In 2016, according to annual crime statistics released by the Baltimore Police Department, there were 318 murders in the city. This total marked a 7.56% decline in homicides from 2015. In an interview in The Guardian, on November 2, 2017, David Simon, himself a former police reporter for the Baltimore Sun, ascribed the most recent surge in murders to the high-profile decision by Baltimore State's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, to charge six city police officers following the death of Freddie Gray after he fell into a coma while in police custody in April 2015. What Mosby basically did was send a message to the Baltimore Police Department, I'm going to put you in jail for making a bad arrest, so officers figured it out, I can go to jail for making the wrong arrest, so I'm not getting out of my car to clear a corner, and that's exactly what happened post Freddie Gray. Quote, in Baltimore arrest numbers have plummeted from more than 40,000 in 2014, the year before Freddie Gray's death and the subsequent charges against the officers, to about 18,000 in 2017, primo November. This happened even as homicides soared from 211 in 2014 to 344 in 2015 an increase of 63%. Topic economy Once a predominantly industrial town, with an economic base focused on steel processing, shipping, auto manufacturing, General Motors Baltimore Assembly, and transportation, the city experienced deindustrialization which cost residents tens of thousands of low-skill, high-wage jobs. The city now relies on a low-wage service economy, which accounts for 31% of jobs in the city. Around the turn of the 20th century, Baltimore was the leading U.S. manufacturer of rye whiskey and straw hats. It also led in refining of crude oil, brought to the city by pipeline from Pennsylvania. As of March 2018 the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics calculates Baltimore's unemployment rate at 5.8% while one quarter of Baltimore residents and 37% of Baltimore children live in poverty. The 2012 closure of a major steel plant at Sparrows Point is expected to have a further impact on employment and the local economy. The Census Bureau reported in 2013 that 207,000 workers commute into Baltimore City each day. Downtown Baltimore is the primary economic asset within Baltimore City and the region with 29.1 million square feet of office space. The tech sector is rapidly growing as the Baltimore Metro ranks 8th in the CBRE Tech Talent Report among 50 U.S. metro areas for high growth rate and number of tech professionals. Forbes ranked Baltimore 4th among America's new tech hotspots. The city is home to the Johns Hopkins Hospital. Other large companies in Baltimore include Under Armour, BRT Laboratories, Cordish Company, Leg Mason, McCormick & Company, T. Rowe Price, and Royal Farms. A sugar refinery owned by American Sugar Refining is one of Baltimore's cultural icons. Nonprofits based in Baltimore include Lutheran Services in America and Catholic Relief Services. Almost a quarter of the jobs in the Baltimore region were in science, technology, engineering and math as of mid-2013, in part attributed to the city's extensive undergraduate and graduate schools, maintenance and repair experts were included in this count. Topic. Port The center of international commerce for the region is the World Trade Center Baltimore. It houses the Maryland Port Administration and U.S. headquarters for major shipping lines. Baltimore is ranked 9th for total dollar value of cargo and 13th for cargo tonnage for all U.S. ports. In 2014, total cargo moving through the port totaled 29.5 million tons, down from 30.3 million tons in 2013. The value of cargo traveling through the port in 2014 came to $52.5 billion, down from $52.6 billion in 2013. The Port of Baltimore generates $3 billion in annual wages and salary, as well as supporting 14,630 direct jobs and 108,000 jobs connected to port work. In 2014, the port also generated more than $300 million in taxes. It serves over 50 ocean carriers making nearly 1,800 annual visits. 
Among all U.S. ports, Baltimore is first in handling automobiles, light trucks, farm and construction machinery, and imported forest products, aluminum, and sugar. The port is second in coal exports. The Port of Baltimore's cruise industry, which offers year-round trips on several lines supports over 500 jobs and brings in over $90 million to Maryland's economy annually. Growth at the port continues with the Maryland Port Administration plans to turn the southern tip of the former steel mill into a marine terminal, primarily for car and truck shipments, but also for anticipated new business coming to Baltimore after the completion of the Panama Canal expansion project. Topic tourism Baltimore's history and attractions have allowed the city to become a strong tourist destination on the East Coast. In 2014, the city hosted 24.5 million visitors, who spent $5.2 billion. The Baltimore Visitor Center, which is operated by Visit Baltimore, is located on Light Street in the Inner Harbor. Much of the city's tourism centers around the Inner Harbor, with the National Aquarium being Maryland's top tourist destination. Baltimore Harbor's restoration has made it a city of boats, with several historic ships and other attractions on display and open for the public to visit. The USS Constellation, the last Civil War era vessel afloat, is docked at the head of the Inner Harbor. The USS Torsk, a submarine that holds the Navy's record for dives, more than 10,000, and the Coast Guard Cutter Taney, the last surviving U.S. warship that was in Pearl Harbor during the Japanese attack on December 7, 1941, and which engaged Japanese Zero aircraft during the battle, also docked is the lightship Chesapeake, which for decades marked the entrance to Chesapeake Bay, and the Seven Foot Knoll Lighthouse, the oldest surviving screw pile lighthouse on Chesapeake Bay. Which which once marked the mouth of the Patapsco River and the entrance to Baltimore. All of these attractions are owned and maintained by the historic ships in Baltimore organization. The Inner Harbor is also the home port of Pride of Baltimore II, the state of Maryland's Goodwill Ambassador ship, a reconstruction of a famous Baltimore Clipper ship. Other tourist destinations include sporting venues such as Oriole Park at Camden Yards, M&T Bank Stadium, and Pimlico Race Course, Fort McHenry, the Mount Vernon, Federal Hill, and Fells Point neighborhoods, Lexington Market, Horseshoe Casino, and museums such as the Walters Art Museum, the Baltimore Museum of Industry, the Babe Ruth Birthplace and Museum, the Maryland Science Center, and the B&O Railroad Museum. The Baltimore Convention Center is home to BronyCon, the world's largest convention for fans of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. The convention had over 6,300 attendees in 2017, and 10,011 attendees during its peak in 2015. Topic. Culture Historically a working-class port town, Baltimore has sometimes been dubbed a city of neighborhoods, with 72 designated historic districts traditionally occupied by distinct ethnic groups. Most notable today are three downtown areas along the port, the Inner Harbor, frequented by tourists due to its hotels, shops, and museums, Fells Point, once a favorite entertainment spot for sailors but now refurbished and gentrified and featured in the movie Sleepless in Seattle, and Little Italy, located between the other two, where Baltimore's Italian-American community is based, and where U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi grew up. Further inland, Mount Vernon is the traditional center of cultural and artistic life of the city. It is home to a distinctive Washington Monument, set atop a hill in a 19th century urban square, that predates the more well known monument in Washington, D.C. by several decades. Baltimore also has a significant German American population, and was the second largest port of immigration to the United States, behind Ellis Island in New York and New Jersey. Between 1820 and 1989, almost 2 million who were German, Polish, English, Irish, Russian, Lithuanian, French, Ukrainian, Czech, Greek and Italian came to Baltimore, most between the years 1861 to 1930. By 1913, when Baltimore was averaging 40,000 immigrants per year, World War I closed off the flow of immigrants. By 1970, Baltimore's heyday as an immigration center was a distant memory. There also was a Chinatown dating back to at least the 1880s which consisted of no more than 400 Chinese residents. A local Chinese American association remains based there, but only one Chinese restaurant as of 2009. Baltimore has quite a history when it comes to making beer, an art that thrived in Baltimore from the 1800s to the 1950s with over 100 old breweries in the city's past. The best remaining example of that history is the Old American Brewery Building on North Gay Street and the National Brewing Company Building in the Brewers Hill neighborhood. In the 1940s the National Brewing Company introduced the nation's first six-pack. 
National's two most prominent brands, were National Bohemian Beer colloquially, Natty Bo, and Colt 45, listed on the Pabst website as a fun fact. Colt 45 was named after running back number 45 Jerry Hill of the 1963 Baltimore Colts and not the .45 caliber handgun ammunition round. Both brands are still made today, albeit outside of Maryland, and served all around the Baltimore area at bars, as well as Orioles and Ravens games. The Natty Bo logo appears on all cans, bottles, and packaging, and merchandise featuring him can still easily be found in shops in Maryland, including several in Fells Point. Each year the Artscape takes place in the city in the Bolton Hill neighborhood, due to its proximity to Maryland Institute College of Art. Artscape styles itself as the largest free arts festival in America. Each May, the Maryland Film Festival takes place in Baltimore, using all five screens of the historic Charles Theater as its anchor venue. Many movies and television shows have been filmed in Baltimore. The Wire was set and filmed in Baltimore. House of Cards and Veep are set in Washington, D.C. but filmed in Baltimore. Baltimore has cultural museums in many areas of study. The Baltimore Museum of Art, and the Walters Art Museum are internationally renowned for its collection of art. The Baltimore Museum of Art has the largest holding of works by Henry Matisse in the world. The National Great Blacks in Wax Museum is the first African-American wax museum in the country, featuring more than 150 life-size and lifelike wax figures. Topic. Cuisine Baltimore is known for its Maryland blue crabs, crab cake, Old Bay seasoning, pit beef, and the chicken box. The city has many restaurants in or around the Inner Harbor. The most known and acclaimed are the Charleston, Woodbury Kitchen, and the Charm City Cakes Bakery featured on the Food Network's Ace of Cakes. The Little Italy neighborhood's biggest draw is the food. Fells Point also is a foodie neighborhood for tourists and locals and is where the oldest continuously running tavern in the country, the Horse You Came In On Saloon, is located. Many of the city's upscale restaurants can be found in Harbor East. Five public markets are located across the city. The Baltimore public market system is the oldest continuously operating public market system in the United States. Lexington Market is one of the longest running markets in the world and longest running in the country, having been around since 1782. The market continues to stand at its original site. Baltimore is the last place in America where one can still find Arabas, vendors who sell fresh fruits and vegetables from a horse-drawn cart that goes up and down neighborhood streets. Food and drink rating sites Agat ranked Baltimore second in a list of the 17 best food cities in the country in 2015. Topic. Local dialect Baltimore City, along with its surrounding regions, is home to a unique local dialect. It is part of Mid-Atlantic American English and is noted to be very similar to the Philadelphia accent, albeit with more southern influences, the so-called Balmeries accent is known for its characteristic pronunciation of its long O vowel, in which an A sound is added before the long O sound. It also adopts Philadelphia's pattern of the short A sound, such that the tensed vowel in words like bath or ask does not match the more relaxed one in sad or act. Baltimore native John Waters parodies the city and its dialect extensively in his films. Most of them are filmed and or set in Baltimore, including the 1972 cult classic Pink Flamingos, as well as Hairspray and its Broadway musical remake. Topic Performing Arts Baltimore has three state-designated arts and entertainment A &E districts. The Station North Arts and Entertainment District, Highlandtown Arts District, and the Bromo Arts and Entertainment District. The Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, a non-profit organization, produces events and arts programs as well as manages several facilities. It is the official Baltimore City Arts Council. BOPA coordinates Baltimore's major events including New Year's Eve and July 4 celebrations at the Inner Harbor, Artscape which is America's largest free arts festival, Baltimore Book Festival, Baltimore Farmers Market and Bazaar, School 33 Art Center's Open Studio Tour and The Drive, Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. The Baltimore Symphony Orchestra is an internationally renowned orchestra, founded in 1916 as a publicly funded municipal organization. The current music director is Marin Alsop, a protege of Leonard Bernstein. Center Stage is the premier theater company in the city and a regionally well-respected group. The Lyric Opera House is the home of Lyric Opera Baltimore, which operates there as part of the Patricia and Arthur Model Performing Arts Center. 
The Baltimore Consort has been a leading early music ensemble for over 25 years. The France Merrick Performing Arts Center, home of the restored Thomas W. Lamb designed Hippodrome Theatre, has afforded Baltimore the opportunity to become a major regional player in the area of touring Broadway and other performing arts presentations. Renovating Baltimore's historic theaters have become widespread throughout the city such as the Everyman, Center, Senator and most recent Parkway Theater. Other buildings have been reused such as the former Mercantile Deposit and Trust Company Bank Building. It is now the Chesapeake Shakespeare Company Theater. Baltimore also boasts a wide array of professional and community theater groups. Aside from center stage, resident troops in the city include the Vagabond Players, the oldest continuously operating community theater group in the country, Everyman Theater, Single Carrot Theater, and Baltimore Theater Festival. Community theaters in the city include Fells Point Community Theater and the Arena Players Inc., which is the nation's oldest continuously operating African-American community theater. In 2009, the Baltimore Rock Opera Society, an all-volunteer theatrical company, launched its first production, Baltimore is home to the Pride of Baltimore Chorus, a three-time international silver medalist women's chorus, affiliated with Sweet Adelaine's International. The Maryland State Boy Choir is located in the northeastern Baltimore neighborhood of Mayfield. Baltimore is the home of non-profit chamber music organization Vivre Musicale. VM won a 2011-2012 award for adventurous programming from the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers and Chamber Music America. The Peabody Institute, located in the Mount Vernon neighborhood, is the oldest conservatory of music in the United States. Established in 1857, it is one of the most prestigious in the world, along with Juilliard, Eastman, and the Curtis Institute. The Morgan State University Choir is also one of the nation's most prestigious university choral ensembles. The city is home to the Baltimore School for the Arts, a public high school in the Mount Vernon neighborhood of Baltimore. The institution is nationally recognized for its success in preparation for students entering music vocal, instrumental, theater acting, theater production, dance, and visual arts. Sports Baseball Baltimore has a long and storied baseball history, including its distinction as the birthplace of Babe Ruth in 1895. The original 19th century Baltimore Orioles were one of the most successful early franchises, featuring numerous Hall of Famers during its years from 1882 to 1899. As one of the eight inaugural American League franchises, the Baltimore Orioles played in the AL during the 1901 and 1902 seasons. The team moved to New York City before the 1903 season and was renamed the New York Highlanders, which later became the New York Yankees. Ruth played for the minor league Baltimore Orioles team, which was active from 1903 to 1914. After playing one season in 1915 as the Richmond Climbers, the team returned the following year to Baltimore, where it played as the Orioles until 1953. The team currently known as the Baltimore Orioles has represented Major League Baseball locally since 1954 when the St. Louis Browns moved to the city of Baltimore. The Orioles advanced to the World Series in 1966, 1969, 1970, 1971, 1979 and 1983, winning three times 1966, 1970 and 1983, while making the playoffs all but one year 1972, from 1969 through 1974. In 1995, local player, and later Hall of Famer, Cal Ripken Jr. broke Lou Gehrig's streak of 2,130 consecutive games played, for which Ripken was named Sportsman of the Year by Sports Illustrated magazine. Six former Orioles players, including Ripken, 2007, and two of the team's managers have been inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Since 1992, the Orioles' home ballpark has been Oriole Park at Camden Yards, which has been hailed as one of the league's best since it opened. Topic football Prior to an NFL team moving to Baltimore, there had been several attempts at a professional football team prior to the 1950s. Most were minor league or semi-professional teams. The first major league to base a team in Baltimore was the All-America Football Conference AAFC, which had a team named the Baltimore Colts. The AAFC Colts played for three seasons in the AAFC 1947, 1948, and 1949, and when the AAFC folded following the 1949 season, moved to the NFL for a single year 1950, before going bankrupt. 
Three years later, the NFL's Dallas Texans would itself fold, and its assets and player contracts purchased by an ownership team headed by Baltimore businessman Carol Rosenblum, who moved the team to Baltimore, establishing a new team also named the Baltimore Colts. During the 1950s and 1960s, the Colts were one of the NFL's more successful franchises, led by Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback Johnny Unitas who set a then record of 47 consecutive games with a touchdown pass. The Colts advanced to the NFL Championship twice 1958 and 1959, and Super Bowl twice 1969 and 1971, winning all except Super Bowl III in 1969. After the 1983 season, the team left Baltimore for Indianapolis in 1984, where they became the Indianapolis Colts. The NFL returned to Baltimore when the former Cleveland Browns moved to Baltimore to become the Baltimore Ravens in 1996. Since then, the Ravens won a Super Bowl championship in 2000 and 2012, five AFC North Division championships 2003, 2006, 2011, 2012 and 2018, and appeared in four AFC championship games 2000, 2008, 2011 and 2012. Topic. Other teams and events The first professional sports organization in the United States, the Maryland Jockey Club, was formed in Baltimore in 1743. Preakness Stakes, the second race in the United States Triple Crown of Thoroughbred Racing, has been held every May at Pimlico Race Course in Baltimore since 1873. College lacrosse is a common sport in the spring, as the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays men's lacrosse team has won 44 national championships, the most of any program in history. In addition, Loyola University won its first men's NCAA lacrosse championship in 2012. The Baltimore Blast are a professional arena soccer team that play in the Major Arena Soccer League at the SECU Arena on the campus of Towson University. The Blast have won nine championships in various leagues, including the MASL. A previous entity of the Blast played in the Major Indoor Soccer League from 1980 to 1992, winning one championship. The FC Baltimore 1729 is a semi-professional soccer club playing for NPSL League, with the goal of bringing a community-oriented competitive soccer experience to the city of Baltimore. Their inaugural season started on May 11, 2018, and they play home games at CCBC Essex Field. The Baltimore Blues are a semi-professional rugby league club which began competition in the USA Rugby League in 2012. The Baltimore Bohemians are an American soccer club. They compete in the USL Premier Development League, the fourth tier of the American Soccer Pyramid. Their inaugural season started in the spring of 2012. The Baltimore Grand Prix debuted along the streets of the Inner Harbor section of the city's downtown on September 2-4, 2011. The event played host to the American Le Mans Series on Saturday and the IndyCar Series on Sunday. Support races from smaller series were also held, including Indy Lights. After three consecutive years, on September 13, 2013, it was announced that the event would not be held in 2014 or 2015 due to scheduling conflicts. The Athletic Equipment Company, Under Armour, is also based out of Baltimore. Founded in 1996 by Kevin Plank, a University of Maryland alumnus, the company's headquarters are located in Tide Point, adjacent to Fort McHenry and the Domino Sugar Factory. The Baltimore Marathon is the flagship race of several races. The marathon begins at the Camden Yard Sports Complex and travels through many diverse neighborhoods of Baltimore, including the scenic Inner Harbor Waterfront Area, historic Federal Hill, Fells Point, and Canton, Baltimore. The race then proceeds to other important focal points of the city such as Patterson Park, Clifton Park, Lake Montebello, the Charles Village neighborhood and the western edge of downtown. After winding through 42.195 kilometers (26.219 miles) of Baltimore, the race ends at virtually the same point at which it starts. The Baltimore Brigade is an arena football league team based in Baltimore that began in 2017, playing at Royal Farms Arena along the inner city near the Edward A. Garmatz Courthouse. Topic: Parks and Recreation. The city of Baltimore boasts over 4,900 acres 1,983 hectares of parkland. The Baltimore City Department of Recreation and Parks manages the majority of parks and recreational facilities in the city including Patterson Park, Federal Hill Park, and Druid Hill Park. 
The city is also home to Fort McHenry National Monument and Historic Shrine, a coastal star-shaped fort best known for its role in the War of 1812. As of 2015, the Trust for Public Land, a national land conservation organization, ranks Baltimore 40th among the 75 largest U.S. cities. Government Baltimore is an independent city, and not part of any county. For most governmental purposes under Maryland law, Baltimore City is treated as a county-level entity. The United States Census Bureau uses counties as the basic unit for presentation of statistical information in the United States, and treats Baltimore as a county equivalent for those purposes. Baltimore has been a Democratic stronghold for over 150 years, with Democrats dominating every level of government. In virtually all elections, the Democratic primary is the real contest. No Republican has won election to the city council since 1939, and no Republican has won the mayor's race since 1963. The city hosted the first six Democratic National Conventions, from 1832 through 1852, and hosted the DNC again in 1860, 1872, and 1912. Topic. City government Topic. Mayor Jack Young is the current mayor of Baltimore. He took office on May 2, 2019 upon the resignation of Catherine Pugh. Prior to Pugh's official resignation, Young was the president of the Baltimore City Council and had been the acting mayor since April 2. Catherine Pugh became the Democratic nominee for mayor in 2016 and won the mayoral election in 2016 with 57.1% of the vote. Pugh took office as mayor on December 6, 2016. Pugh took a leave of absence in April 2019 due to health concerns, then officially resigned from office on May 2. The resignation coincided with a scandal over a self dealing. Book sales arrangement, Stephanie Rawlings Blake assumed the office of mayor on February 4, 2010, when predecessor Dixon's resignation became effective. Rawlings Blake had been serving as city council president at the time. She was elected to a full term in 2011, defeating Pew in the primary election and receiving 84% of the vote. Sheila Dixon became the first female mayor of Baltimore on January 17, 2007. As the former city council president, she assumed the office of mayor when former mayor Martin O'Malley took office as governor of Maryland. On November 6, 2007, Dixon won the Baltimore mayoral election. Mayor Dixon's administration ended less than three years after her election, the result of a criminal investigation that began in 2006 while she was still city council president. She was convicted on a single misdemeanor charge of embezzlement on December 1, 2009. A month later, Dixon made an Alfred plea to a perjury charge and agreed to resign from office. Maryland, like most states, does not allow convicted felons to hold office. Topic: Baltimore City Council. Grassroots pressure for reform, Boyster's Question P, restructured the city council in November 2002 against the will of the mayor, the council president, and the majority of the council. A coalition of union and community groups, organized by the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now ACORN, backed the effort. The Baltimore City Council is now made up of 14 single-member districts and one elected at large council president. Bernard C. Jack Young has been the council president since February 2010, when he was unanimously elected by the other council members to replace Stephanie Rawlings Blake, who had become mayor. Edward Reisinger, the 10th district representative, is the council's current vice president. Topic law enforcement The Baltimore City Police Department, founded 1784 as a night city watch and day constable system and later reorganized as a city department in 1853, with a following reorganization under State of Maryland supervision in 1859, with appointments made by the Governor of Maryland after a disturbing period of civic and elections violence with riots in the later part of the decade, is the current primary law enforcement agency serving the citizens of the city of Baltimore. Campus and building security for the city's public schools is provided by the Baltimore City Public Schools Police, established in the 1970s. In the period of 2011 to 2015, 120 lawsuits were brought against Baltimore Police for alleged brutality and misconduct. 
the Freddie Gray settlement of $6.4 million exceeds the combined total settlements of the 120 lawsuits. As state law caps such payments, the Maryland Transportation Authority Police under the Maryland Department of Transportation, originally established as the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel Police when opened in 1957, is the primary law enforcement agency on the Fort McHenry Tunnel Thruway, Interstate 95, the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel Thruway, Interstate 895, which go under the northwest branch of the Patapsco River, and Interstate 395, which has three ramp bridges crossing the middle branch of the Patapsco River which are under MDTA jurisdiction, the Baltimore-Washington International Airport, BWI, and have limited concurrent jurisdiction with the Baltimore City Police Department under a Memorandum of Understanding. Law enforcement on the fleet of transit buses and transit rail systems serving Baltimore is the responsibility of the Maryland Transit Administration Police, which is part of the Maryland Transit Administration of the State Department of Transportation. The MTA Police also share jurisdiction authority with the Baltimore City Police, governed by a Memorandum of Understanding, as the enforcement arm of the Baltimore Circuit and District Court System, the Baltimore City Sheriff's Office, created by State Constitutional Amendment in 1844, is responsible for the security of city courthouses and property, service of court-ordered writs, protective and peace orders, warrants, tax levies, prisoner transportation and traffic enforcement. Deputy sheriffs are sworn law enforcement officials, with full arrest authority granted by the Constitution of Maryland, the Maryland Police and Correctional Training Commission and the Sheriff of the City of Baltimore, the United States Coast Guard, operating out of their shipyard and facility, since 1899, at Arundel Cove on Curtis Creek, off Pennington Avenue extending to Hawkins Point Road, Fort Smallwood Road, in the Curtis Bay section of southern Baltimore City and adjacent northern Anne Arundel County. The USCG also operates and maintains a presence on Baltimore and Maryland waterways in the Patapsco River and Chesapeake Bay. Sector Baltimore is responsible for commanding law enforcement and search and rescue units as well as aids to navigation. Topic. Baltimore City Fire Department the City of Baltimore is protected by the over 1,800 professional firefighters of the Baltimore City Fire Department BCFD, which was founded in December 1858 and began operating the following year. Replacing several warring independent volunteer companies since the 1770s and the confusion resulting from a riot involving the Know Nothing political party two years before, the establishment of a unified professional firefighting force was a major advance in urban governance. The BCFD operates out of 37 fire stations located throughout the city and has a long history and sets of traditions in its various houses and divisions. Topic. State government Since the legislative redistricting in 2002, Baltimore has had six legislative districts located entirely within its boundaries, giving the city six seats in the 47-member Maryland Senate and 18 in the 141-member Maryland House of Delegates. During the previous 10-year period, Baltimore had four legislative districts within the city limits, but four others overlapped the Baltimore County line. As of January 2011, all of Baltimore's state senators and delegates were Democrats. Approval of the next redistricting plan is expected to become effective in time for Maryland's 2012 congressional primary election on February 14, 2012. Topic. State agencies Topic. Federal government Three of the state's eight congressional districts include portions of Baltimore, the second, represented by Dutch Ruppersberger, the third, represented by John Sarbanes, and the seventh, represented by Elijah Cummings. All three are Democrats. A Republican has not represented a significant portion of Baltimore in Congress since John Boynton Philip Clayton Hill represented the 3rd District in 1927, and has not represented any of Baltimore since the Eastern Shore based 1st District lost its share of Baltimore after the 2000 census. It was represented by Republican Wayne Gilchrist at the time. Maryland's senior United States Senator, Ben Cardin, is from Baltimore. He is one of three people in the last four decades to have represented the 3rd District before being elected to the United States Senate. Paul Sarbanes represented the 3rd from 1971 until 1977, when he was elected to the first of five terms in the Senate. Sarbanes was succeeded by Barbara Mikulski, who represented the 3rd from 1977 to 1987. 
Mikulski was succeeded by Cardan, who held the seat until handing it to John Sarbanes upon his election to the Senate in 2007. The Postal Service's Baltimore Main Post Office is located at 900 East Fayette Street in the Jonestown area. The national headquarters for the United States Social Security Administration is located in Woodlawn, just outside of Baltimore. Topic: Education. Topic: Colleges and Universities. Baltimore is the home of numerous places of higher learning, both public and private. 100,000 college students from around the country attend Baltimore City's 12 accredited two-year or four-year colleges and universities. Among them are Topic. Private The Johns Hopkins University Baltimore International College Loyola University Maryland Maryland Institute College of Art Street Mary Seminary and University Notre Dame of Maryland University The Peabody Institute of Johns Hopkins University Stratford University Baltimore Campus Topic Public Baltimore City Community College Coppin State University Morgan State University University of Baltimore University of Maryland, Baltimore Topic. Primary and secondary schools The city's public schools are managed by Baltimore City Public Schools and include schools that have been well known in the area, Carver Vocational Technical High School, the first African-American vocational high school and center that was established in the state of Maryland, Digital Harbor High School, one of the secondary schools that emphasizes information technology, Lake Clifton Eastern High School, which is the largest school campus in Baltimore City of physical size, the historic Frederick Douglass High School, which is the second oldest African-American high school in the United States, Baltimore City College. College, the third oldest public high school in the country, and Western High School, the oldest public all-girls school in the nation. Baltimore City College, also known as City, and Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, also known as Poly, share the nation's second oldest high school football rivalry. Topic: Transportation. The city of Baltimore has a higher than average percentage of households without a car. In 2015, 30.7% of Baltimore households lacked a car, which decreased slightly to 28.9% in 2016. The national average was 8.7% in 2016. Baltimore averaged 1.65 cars per household in 2016, compared to a national average of 1.8. Topic. Roads and highways Baltimore's highway growth has done much to influence the development of the city and its suburbs. The first limited access highway serving Baltimore was the Baltimore Washington Parkway, which opened in stages between 1950 and 1954. Maintenance of it is split, the half closest to Baltimore is maintained by the state of Maryland, and the half closest to Washington by the National Park Service. Trucks are only permitted to use the northern part of the parkway. Trucks tractor trailers continued to use US Route 1, US 1 until Interstate 95 I-95 between Baltimore and Washington opened in 1971. The interstate highways serving Baltimore are I-70, I-83 the Jones Falls Expressway, I-95, I-395, I-695 the Baltimore Beltway, I-795 the Northwest Expressway, I-895 the Harbor Tunnel Thruway, and I-97. The city's mainline interstate highways I 95, I 83, and I 70 do not directly connect to each other, and in the case of I 70, end at a park and ride lot just inside the city limits, because of freeway revolts in Baltimore. These revolts were led primarily by Barbara Mikulski, a former United States Senator for Maryland, which resulted in the abandonment of the original plan. There are two tunnels traversing Baltimore Harbor within the city limits, the four-bore Fort McHenry Tunnel opened in 1985 and serving I-95 and the two-bore Harbor Tunnel opened in 1957 and serving I-895. 
The Baltimore Beltway crosses south of Baltimore Harbor over the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The first interstate highway built in Baltimore was I-83, called the Jones Falls Expressway first portion built in the early 1960s. Running from the downtown toward the northwest NNW, it was built through a natural corridor, which meant that no residents or housing were directly affected. A planned section from what is now its southern terminus to I-95 was abandoned. Its route through parkland received criticism. Planning for the Baltimore Beltway antedates the creation of the interstate highway system. The first portion completed was a small strip connecting the two sections of I-83, the Baltimore-Harrisburg Expressway and the Jones Falls Expressway. The only U.S. highways in the city are U.S. 1, which bypasses downtown, and U.S. 40, which crosses downtown from east to west. Both run along major surface streets, however, U.S. 40 utilizes a small section of a freeway cancelled in the 1970s in the west side of the city originally intended for Interstate 170. State routes in the city also travel along surface streets, with the exception of Maryland Route 295, which carries the Baltimore-Washington Parkway. The Baltimore City Department of Transportation BCDOT, is responsible for several functions of the road transportation system in Baltimore, including repairing roads, sidewalks, and alleys, road signs, street lights, and managing the flow of transportation systems. In addition, the agency is in charge of vehicle towing and traffic cameras. BCDOT maintains all streets within the city of Baltimore. These include all streets that are marked as state and U.S. highways as well as the portions of I-83 and I-70 within the city limits. The only highways within the city that are not maintained by BCDOT are I-95, I-395, I-695, and I-895. Those four highways are maintained by the Maryland Transportation Authority. Transit systems Topic. Public transit Public transit in Baltimore is mostly provided by the Maryland Transit Administration abbreviated MTA Maryland and Charm City Circulator. MTA Maryland operates a comprehensive bus network, including many local, express, and commuter buses, a light rail network connecting Hunt Valley in the north to BWI Airport and Cromwell, Glen Burnie, in the south, and a subway line between Owings Mills and Johns Hopkins Hospital. A proposed rail line, known as the Red Line, which would link the Social Security Administration to Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center and perhaps the Canton and Dundalk communities, was cancelled as of June 2015 by Governor Larry Hogan. A proposal to extend Baltimore's existing subway line to Morgan State University, known as the Green Line, is in the planning stages. The Charm City Circulator, CCC, a shuttle bus service operated by Veolia Transportation for the Baltimore Department of Transportation, began operating in the downtown area in January 2010. Funded partly by a 16% increase in the city's parking fees, the circulator provides free bus service seven days a week, picking up passengers every 15 minutes at designated stops during service hours. The CCC's first bus line, the Orange Route, travels between Holland's Market and Harbour East. Its Purple Route, launched June 7, 2010, operates between Fort Avenue and 33rd Saint. The Green Route runs between Johns Hopkins and City Hall. The Charm City Circulator operates a fleet of diesel and hybrid vehicles built by Design Line, Orion, and Van Hool. Baltimore also has a water taxi service, operated by Baltimore Water Taxi. The Water Taxi Six Routes provides service throughout the city's harbor, and was purchased by Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank's Sagamore Ventures in 2016. In June 2017, the Baltimore Link started operating. It is the redesign of the region's initial bus system. The Baltimore Link runs through downtown Baltimore every 10 minutes via color-coded, high-frequency CityLink routes. Topic. Intercity rail Baltimore is a top destination for Amtrak along the Northeast Corridor. Baltimore's Penn Station is one of the busiest in the country. In FY 2014, Penn Station was ranked the seventh busiest rail station in the United States by number of passengers served each year. The building sits on a raised island of sorts between two open trenches, one for the Jones Falls Expressway and the other for the tracks of the Northeast Corridor NEC. The NEC approaches from the south through the two-track, 7,660 feet 2,330 meters Baltimore and Potomac Tunnel, which opened in 1873 and whose 30 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour, limit, sharp curves, and steep grades make it one of the NEC's worst bottlenecks. 
The NEC's northern approach is the 1873 Union Tunnel, which has one single track bore and one double track bore. Just outside the city, Baltimore, Washington International BWI, Thurgood Marshall Airport Rail Station is another stop. Amtrak's Acela Express, Palmetto, Carolinian, Silver Star, Silver Media, Vermonta, Crescent, and Northeast Regional trains are the scheduled passenger train services that stop in the city. Additionally, Mark Commuter Rail Service connects the city's two main intercity rail stations, Camden Station and Penn Station, with Washington, D.C.'s Union Station as well as stops in between. The Mark consists of three lines, the Brunswick, Camden and Penn. On December 7, 2013 the Penn line began weekend service. Topic. Airports Baltimore is served by two airports, both operated by the Maryland Aviation Administration, which is part of the Maryland Department of Transportation. Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, generally known as BWI, lies about 10 miles 16 kilometers to the south of Baltimore in neighboring Anne Arundel County. The airport is named after Thurgood Marshall, a Baltimore native who was the first African American to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. In terms of passenger traffic, BWI is the 22nd busiest airport in the United States. As of calendar year 2014, BWI is the largest, by passenger count, of three major airports serving the Baltimore-Washington metropolitan area. It is accessible by I-95 and the Baltimore-Washington Parkway via Interstate 195, the Baltimore Light Rail, and Amtrak and Mark train at BWI Rail Station. Baltimore is also served by Martin State Airport, a general aviation facility, to the northeast in Baltimore County. Martin State Airport is linked to downtown Baltimore by Maryland Route 150, Eastern Avenue, and by Mark Train at its own station. Topic. Pedestrians and bicycles Baltimore has a comprehensive system of bicycle routes in the city. These routes are not numbered, but are typically denoted with green signs displaying a silhouette of a bicycle upon an outline of the city's border, and denote the distance to destinations, much like bicycle routes in the rest of the state. The roads carrying bicycle routes are also labeled with either bike lanes, sharrows, or share the road signs. Many of these routes pass through the downtown area. The network of bicycle lanes in the city continues to expand, with over 140 miles 230 kilometers added between 2006 and 2014. Alongside bike lanes, Baltimore has also built bike boulevards, starting with Guilford Avenue in 2012. Baltimore currently has three major trail systems within the city. The Gwynns Falls Trail runs from the Inner Harbor to the I-70 Park and Ride, passing through Gwynns Falls Park and possessing numerous branches. There are also many pedestrian hiking trails traversing the park. The Jones Falls Trail currently runs from the Inner Harbor to the Sylvan Arboretum, however, it is currently undergoing expansion. Long-term plans call for it to extend to the Mount Washington Light Rail stop, and possibly as far north as the Falls Road stop to connect to the Robert E. Lee Boardwalk north of the city. It will also incorporate a spur alongside Western Run. The two aforementioned trails carry sections of the East Coast Greenway through the city. There is also the Herring Run Trail, which runs from Harford Road east to its end beyond Sinclair Lane, utilizing Herring Run Park. Long-term plans also call for its extension to Morgan State University and north to points beyond. Other major bicycle projects include a protected cycle track installed on both Maryland Avenue and Mount Royal Avenue, expected to become the backbone of a downtown bicycle network. Installation for the cycle tracks is expected in 2014 and 2016, respectively. In addition to the bicycle trails and cycle tracks, Baltimore has the Stony Run Trail, a walking path that will eventually connect from the Jones Falls North to Northern Parkway, utilizing much of the old Mar and Par Railroad corridor inside the city. In 2011, the city undertook a campaign to reconstruct many sidewalk ramps in the city, coinciding with mass resurfacing of the city's streets. A 2011 study by WalkScore ranked Baltimore the 14th most walkable of 50 largest U.S. cities. Topic. Port of Baltimore The port was founded in 1706, preceding the founding of Baltimore. The Maryland colonial legislature made the area near Locust Point as the port of entry for the tobacco trade with England. 
Fells Point, the deepest point in the natural harbor, soon became the colony's main shipbuilding center, later on becoming leader in the construction of clipper ships. After Baltimore's founding, mills were built behind the walls. The California Gold Rush led to many orders for fast vessels. Many overland pioneers also relied upon canned goods from Baltimore. After the Civil War, a coffee ship was designed here for trade with Brazil. At the end of the 19th century, European ship lines had terminals for immigrants. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad made the port a major transshipment point. Currently the port has major roll-on, roll-off facilities, as well as bulk facilities, especially steel handling. Water taxis also operate in the inner harbor. Governor Ehrlich participated in naming the port after Helen Delich Bentley during the 300th anniversary of the port. In 2007, Duke Realty Corporation began a new development near the Port of Baltimore, named the Chesapeake Commerce Center. This new industrial park is located on the site of a former General Motors plant. The total project comprises 184 acres (0.74 square kilometers) in eastern Baltimore City, and the site will yield 2,800,000 square feet (260,000 square meters) of warehouse distribution and office space. Chesapeake Commerce Center has direct access to two major interstate highways, I-95 and I-895, and is located adjacent to two of the major Port of Baltimore terminals. The Port of Baltimore is one of two seaports on the U.S. East Coast with a 50-foot dredge to accommodate the largest shipping vessels. Along with cargo terminals, the port also has a passenger cruise terminal, which offers year-round trips on several lines, including Royal Caribbean's Grandeur of the Seas and Carnival's Pride. Overall, five cruise lines have operated out of the port to the Bahamas and the Caribbean, while some ships traveled to New England and Canada. The terminal has become an embarkation point where passengers have the opportunity to park and board next to the ship visible from Interstate 95. Passengers from Pennsylvania, New York and New Jersey make up a third of the volume, with travelers from Maryland, Virginia, the District and even Ohio and the Carolinas making up the rest. Topic. Environment Baltimore's inner harbor, known for its skyline waterscape and its tourist-friendly areas, was horribly polluted. The waterway was often filled with garbage after heavy rainstorms, failing its 2014 water quality report card. The Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore took steps to remediate the waterways, in hopes that the harbor would be fishable and swimmable once again. Topic. Trash interceptors Installed in May 2014, the water wheel trash interceptor known as Mr. Trash Wheel sits at the mouth of the Jones Falls River in Baltimore's Inner Harbor. A February 2015 agreement with a local waste to energy plant is believed to make Baltimore the first city to use reclaimed waterway debris to generate electricity. Mr. Trash Wheel is a permanent water wheel trash interceptor to clean up the city's polluted inner harbor. The Jones Falls River watershed drains 58 square miles 150 square kilometers of land outside of Baltimore and is a significant source of trash that enters the harbor. Garbage collected by Mr. Trash Wheel could come from anywhere in the Jones Falls watershed area. The wheel moves continuously, removing garbage and dumping it into an attached dumpster using only hydro and solar renewable power to keep its wheel turning. It has the capability to collect 50,000 pounds kilograms of trash per day, and has removed more than 350 tons of litter from Baltimore's landmark and tourist attraction in its first 18 months, estimated as consisting of approximately 200,000 bottles, 173,000 potato chip bags and 6.7 million cigarette butts. The water wheel has been very successful at trash removal, visibly decreasing the amount of garbage that collects in the harbor, especially after a rainfall. After the success of Mr. Trash Wheel, the Waterfront Partnership raised money to build a second water wheel at the end of Harris Creek, an entirely piped stream that flows beneath Baltimore's Canton neighborhood and empties into the Baltimore Harbor. Harris Creek is known to carry tons of trash every year. The planned new water wheel was inaugurated in December 2016, and dubbed, Professor Trash Wheel. Professor Trash Wheel prevents waste from exiting the harbor and accessing the Chesapeake Bay and Atlantic Ocean. A number of additional projects are going on in Baltimore City and County that should result in better water quality scores. These projects include the Blue Alleys Project, expanded street sweeping, and stream restoration. Topic. Other water pollution control 
In August 2010, the National Aquarium assembled, planted, and launched a floating wetland island designed by Biohabitats in Baltimore's inner harbor. Hundreds of years ago Baltimore's harbor shoreline would have been lined with tidal wetlands. Floating wetlands provide many environmental benefits to water quality and habitat enhancement, which is why the Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore has included them in their Healthy Harbor Initiative pilot projects. Biohabitats also developed a concept to transform a dilapidated wharf into a living pier that cleans harbor water, provides habitat and is an aesthetic attraction. Currently under design, the top of the pier will become a constructed tidal wetland. Topic. Media Baltimore's main newspaper is the Baltimore Sun. It was sold by its Baltimore owners in 1986 to the Times Mirror Company, which was bought by the Tribune Company in 2000. The Baltimore News American, another long-running paper that competed with The Sun, ceased publication in 1986. The city is home to the Baltimore Afro-American, an influential African-American newspaper founded in 1892. In 2006, the Baltimore Examiner was launched to compete with The Sun. It was part of a national chain that includes the San Francisco Examiner and the Washington Examiner. In contrast to the paid subscription Sun, the Examiner was a free newspaper funded solely by advertisements. Unable to turn a profit and facing a deep recession, the Baltimore Examiner ceased publication on February 15, 2009, despite being located 40 miles northeast of Washington, D.C. Baltimore is a major media market in its own right, with all major English-language television networks represented in the city. WJZ-TV 13 is a CBS-owned and operated station, and WBFF 45 is the flagship of Sinclair Broadcast Group, the largest station owner in the country. Other major television stations in Baltimore include WMAR-TV2, ABC, WBAL-TV11, NBC, WUTV24, My Network TV, WNUV54, CW, and WMPV67, PBS. Nielsen ranked Baltimore as the 26th largest television market for the 2008-2009 viewing season and the 27th largest for 2009-2010. Arbitron's Fall 2010 rankings identified Baltimore as the 22nd largest radio market. Topic: Notable people. Topic: Sister cities. Baltimore has 10 sister cities, as designated by Sister Cities International. Baltimore's own sister city committees recognize eight of these sister cities, indicated above with a B notation. Topic. See also Baltimore Portal Baltimore Development Corporation Baltimore in Fiction Bluegrass in Baltimore, The Hard Drive and Sound and Its Legacy Book on the History of the Appalachian Migrants Move into the City in the 20th Century Cemeteries in Baltimore, Maryland History of the Germans in Baltimore, Maryland Notes <laughs>